to stay at the top, sometimes you have to continue to evolve. Alabama coach Nick Saban did just that, bringing in offensive guru Lane Kiffin to run a new Crimson Tide offense. Fox 10's Michael Brannon joins us live in the Big Easy with a look at this high-impact decision. Michael. Yeah, Joe, you know uh, Alabama uh, just keeps on rolling down the field this year with their hurry-up offense. And here is a look at how it has paid off. It's something that has paid off time and time again. Alabama's up-tempo offense. This year, a new man at the helm for it all, Lane Kiffin, who has this year proven to be a good fit for the Tide, giving Alabama hopes of yet another national championship. I get a lot of credit for the up-tempo offense and what we've done with Blake and changing from what we did before, but the reality of the story is this up-tempo offense and going faster and having the fast plays is all Coach Saban. This was him from the first day that I got here. And the two have stuck with it, going 12-1 and one on the season. Now, playing in the college football playoff semifinal. The driving force behind it all, not only Kiffin, but Heisman finalist Amari Cooper. The 6'1", 210-pound junior wide receiver exploded on the field in 2014, putting up more than 1,600 yards on 115 receptions for 14 touchdowns. Nothing has really changed with my work ethic, uh, with my studying, watching film and things like that. The only thing that's changed is, you know, I've been a little busier, uh, especially with the Heisman thing, going to Orlando. But, you know, that's really about it. Kiffin also has another big playmaker to brag upon, Blake Sims. The senior signal caller could be called one of the most comfortable quarterbacks in the country. You can see the progression of the offense and his play has been about us adjusting to him and tinkering our system so it would fit him best. And um, he's played as well as anybody in the country down the stretch here. I think every player plays the, his best when you know that your coach has nothing but the faith, nothing but faith for you. And um, I'm just glad that he came and I spent my last year with him. Overall for the Tide, 319 first downs on the season, more than 2,700 rushing, more than 3,600 passing. All in all, more than 6,300 yards of total offense. Michael Brannon, Fox 10 Sports. A big part of that offense is the backfield, which features Derrick Henry and two lower Alabama stars, as you see T.J. Yeldon and Jelston Fowler. Yeldon, a Daphne native and a junior, a major contributor for the third season in a row, 1,112 total yards to go along with 11 touchdowns. Yeldon has battled injuries and may not be 100%, but all signs point to him taking the field in the Sugar Bowl. It feel great, you know, before the season started uh, last year. We all made a uh, goal, you know, for our, our goal is to be here and win it. So, you know, we're here. We just got to take care of business now. Jalston Fowler has an impact that's hard to measure statistically. He can block, catch, run, whatever it takes. He's the glue of the Tide's offense. He does what he does so well, he'll no doubt be moving on to the NFL next season. Look for a healthy mix of Yeldon, Derrick Henry, and Fowler tonight. Stick around one final look at our two teams when our Sugar Bowl showdown continues.